Have you ever wondered why we humans are the size we are? Could humans be, well, a whole lot bigger? Okay, let's go back a step. This is Lucy, one of our early human relatives. She's three million and a bit years old and just over a metre tall. So relative to our distant relatives, modern humans have grown significantly taller. So what if we kept going? Could the giants of fairy tales become a reality? Well, let's imagine a human, but three times normal height. Say, five metres tall. Way bigger than any human before. A person this big may look feasible, but they'd be doomed to fail. To see why, we need to visit a man in Turkey. This is Sultan Kozen. Sultan has an oversized pituitary gland, which has produced too much human growth hormone throughout his life, allowing him to reach the height of 2.51 meters. He's the world's tallest man. Sounds cool, but it has some serious drawbacks. His body struggles to cope. Extra tall means extra heavy, and to make matters worse, taller people fall over more often, and when they fall, they fall further and hit the ground harder. So Sultan keeps breaking his legs. And there are more health issues besides. Being tall puts pressure on the heart, which has to pump blood higher. So at 2.5 meters, it seems that Sultan has already reached the limit of human size. But, I know what you're thinking. What about Gigantopithecus? For those of you who haven't studied the evolutionary history of primates, here's the quick version. There were some teeth that were found in a Hong Kong pharmacy that people thought were dragon's teeth, but a paleontologist saw them and realised they weren't from a dragon, but from a massive ape, which weighed half a tonne and was the biggest ape that ever lived. So how did Gigantopithecus get so big? Many think, as it got bigger, it had to go back to all fours to cope. Is this the secret? Is this what we'd have to do to reach truly giant proportions? Well, not if you want scientists to call you human. If it's going to be a giant human, it has to be bipedal, because bipedalism is the thing, the one major thing that sets our um, genus or our, our group, the hominins, off from all of the other primates. So the bottom line is if it's not on two legs, it's just not human. So to make a bipedal human giant, we're going to have to redesign the human body so we can stand upright without breaking our legs all the time. We'd need much thicker legs and stronger bones to support our weight. Ears like an elephant to regulate heat. And a stronger heart to pump the blood the extra distance to our brain. So giant humans are possible then. Well, here's the rub. To be giants, we'd have to adapt our physiology so radically that we really couldn't be considered human anymore. Which brings us back to where we started. We humans are about as big as we're going to get. <laughs>